Alright, so this guy has a total of six braids, pretty evenly spaced. Um, he did, however, have a haircut, so I was able to work around his hair. Um, I was able to pull it almost to a micro, uh, but for the most part, they're pretty even, pretty tight, and I tried to make sure that the spacing and the part was fitting right, to so his head This guy has a total of six braids, pretty evenly spaced. Um, he did, however, have a haircut, so I was able to work around his hair. Um, I was able to pull it almost to a micro, uh, but for the most part, they're pretty even, pretty tight, and I tried to make sure that the spacing and the part was fitting to his head type. Here we is, getting my hair did on a Wednesday, or on a Thursday, sorry, I thought it was Wednesday on still. Thursday. Got the club going up on a Thursday, karaoke night, you know, to... Here we are, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sammy, uh, Sammy J, or Sammy Jerry, a uh, local girl from the Klamath River area, and I'm gonna braid this fool up. Let's do that because I don't like the way it feels when they're in, but I definitely love the way it looks. It's better than having a mop top all day. Yeah. It keeps me fresh in this heat. So we're just gonna test run this first braid and see how it goes. Here we are getting braid number two ready. So what is what did you say the style is that you're doing? So this is because it doesn't look like a regular braid to me. It looks more like a, like a, a more of like a squared. Yeah, like, yeah. So this is just a typical French braid. Okay. But it is going to sit on your head versus being a reverse braid. So it's gonna have. A little bit more of the traditional look, but that's how Sean Paul, Sean Paul rolls. He doesn't yeah. have the full on, um, like outside braids, unless you're looking for the newer Sean Paul, which I didn't get that memo. <laughs> no, if, not, if, not, if I was looking for the new Sean Paul, we need some clippers. <laughs> yeah, so like I just was started braiding for my sisters because we had thick hair, but we also kept our hair long. And so we had to do something with our hair. And so we just learned how to braid. Self-taught, just learned how to braid on my sister's hair. And then, yeah, braid my husband's do you hair. Have, do you have any, uh, like, like from your culture? Was it like a common thing? Or like, um, did you learn from like your grandmother or your mother or anybody? You know, I wish I could say I was that indigenous, I was that native, but honestly, um, it was just something that my older sister did, and I really wanted to be like her. But I think it really does correlate to. So it technically still is a family thing because. You know, it's kind of like how well, what we're doing now, the way I'm holding this phone, is like my older brother does video, and we've taken college classes together about like recording and editing and all that. So, and plus we do security as well. We do a lot of similar things. I mean, we've always really hung out a lot because we, I don't know. The only thing I didn't do as much as him was construction because... He's five years older, so he was always with my dad in construction and all that. Mm -hmm. But I, I know how to braid a little bit. I just, I've actually tried cornrowing my hair, but I just can't get it tight. Because it's like, if my it's arms in, would just turn on fire. Yeah, like it's definitely an art. Like I hardly ever braid my own hair for that reason. Because like I'm one of those visual people too. Like I have to see what I'm doing sometimes. And so me trying to braid my own hair is like me looking in a mirror. Um, that's probably the downfall of being the braider of the family is when I head to our ceremonies, like I'm the one everyone comes to to get their hair braided. Yeah. And so I braid everybody up and then in return, you know, like everyone looks fly and I got my hair to bun. But I'm okay with that because my but, braid. I mean, like, at least you're being recognized as... The, you know, everybody in, in the tribe or everybody in the family has an art, and that's your art. Yeah, and it really does make me want to, you know, just keep doing it because 
and to get better because I want them to know that like, hey, oh, I'm gonna see Sammy. Sammy, bring me up. But then also too, like they can wear it for a couple days and it keeps their hair clean and it keeps them to where they're able to not get stressed out because you know their hair is dirty or yeah. anything like that. Or oh, it's like all up in your face. Or, yeah. And when like that's what I don't like is like on really hot days. My my head gets hot if my hair's loose, and yeah, I, I'm just, not a big fan of that. No, and it just sits on your face, or so I it also stuck behind your ear and all that. Yeah, like it's also a comfort thing for me too because, like, if my boys when they go out into the world and they have long hair, <clears throat> you know, like their hair isn't gonna get caught up in something or. Someone isn't going to intentionally go cut their hair because hey, or guess pull what? It, or pull yeah, it. Yeah, you know, especially in like, in like football. You know, when you got hair hanging out your helmet, I've always seen people purposely pull the hair, mm -hmm. and that's technically horse collaring. It's like pulling somebody by the neck. It's an illegal hit, you know. But I think that's always it's dangerous to have your hair loose when you have it long, even. I mean, even sometimes, like, for me, even just freaking smoking a cigarette. Like, <laughs> the other day I heard my hair sizzling. I'm like, oh, fuck, I need to get my hair out of my face. Mm -hmm. So, But when I have a braid, when I have the cornrows, it just feels like, oh, you know, I wake up. I'll shower, you know, put some conditioner through it and rinse it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I don't want it, like, super soaked because that's when it loosens up. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, there is definitely some aftercare to it and, like, aftercare to keeping your braid. Um, I try to use like pretty natural products like I don't try to put tons um, <clears throat> because then your hair just kind of it sits funny and that's when you start to feel like your scalp start to itch and stuff like that because there's just too much product on it yeah. um, but that's just like my style like I'm pretty simple when it comes to <clears throat> braiding just because I mean, yeah, I can get crazy extravagant, put colors in it and stuff, but traditionally, it's to keep your hair up, it's to keep your hair managed, but then also, like, when you do let your hair free, like, your hair isn't gonna wild out, like, it's almost kind of like, your team and your spirit sometimes. Yeah, that's what happened to me the other day when I came back from uh, Rosarito, mm -hmm. it just automatically just, it looked like a perm, like, when little kids get perms, like, I was like, that's so weird. And then I had to, like, pick it out with a comb, and it finally froze out. But I actually had to wash it because of the product they use. Mm -hmm. So the product they use just kept it mellow. And then once I washed it, it just poofed up, like, nonstop. Yeah, and then, like, I haven't been able, like, just life hasn't really been super easy for me lately. And so trying to go out to powwows and braid for like either the men or women there who are getting in the regalia going out to you know fancy dance or jingle like dance or um <clears throat> whatever genre they're in i just haven't been able to make it because one of my friends had told me they're like hey like you should hit up a powwow like you probably make so much money because those are nice braids and so like it's been a journey for me to start this it wasn't just like oh i'm gonna braid it was been an evolution of a simple compliment and so and now here, here i am you know starting something from myself i guess you know and like my heritage but at the same time it's like a service you know like because people do like their hair braided mm -hmm. and so that's what all right i'm gonna pause this So is there like a certain name for the way that it's like the different, I don't know how you describe this. Cause it's like a split down the middle, but they're going at an angle. Like kind of got a 45 at the corner of my head. <laughs> right? I mean, like, I'm pretty sure there's a name for it. Oh, um, so you just, I'm you just, just, you just oh, okay. I like this actually. I think that's what makes it feel more comfortable. Cause when I have the rows from like the front of my head to the back, 
they like I don't have the right haircut for that. So because mm -hmm. my hair is like it's not as wide in the front as it is in the back. The back is way wider. So it makes it I guess it does make it look a lot better. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Like the, like it has to fit you. Like braids, like I mean, it's not meant for every type of hair. Like honestly, like some people like it. Like as in like cultural appropriation. They're like, oh, well, I'm gonna go get you know my hair. So I'm gonna get some uh, some box braids. And it's like, um, traditionally, you know, Afro Indigenous people didn't just box braid their hair because it was a style like no they did that so they could take care of their scalp and take care of their hair in a way so it didn't fall out oh. and then you know you got these people who aren't and their hair texture just isn't meant for it but they live and they learn so how do you think mine would do with box braids i think it would Definitely look different. Yeah, it, it would. But I was I thinking about trying it just like once it's longer though. Like because I right been... right now this is at like a perfect it's like a perfect length for this style, I would say. Yeah, like I personally wouldn't do it just because your hair is like fine. So what I would suggest is actually braiding your hair but maybe adding some add-ins. Like some Maybe you want to add in some color, like, or, I mean, like, you could do, like, bright, like, neon green or some bright red, almost like festival hair. Hold on, buddy, hold on. But, mm -hmm. All right, so you were saying about the good opportunity that the, you've been wanting to do this for a while, but um, you got the opportunity at the tattoo shop that you guys are opening up. Yeah, um, so, like I said, this, like, kind of ins was inspired by just friends being like, hey, you should do this, or like, hey, you're really good at this, like, just support, in a sense, and then this opportunity came up at the shop, right I here to the east, it. I just me it. to get a spot hey, hey, to braid my hair, to braid hair. I just broke it. It's okay, buddy. Just, just throw it away, okay? Don't swallow it. You know, being a mother of four of my own with three blended, I can't just pop, you know, or put up a set up shop in my house, like, or, you know, dedicate a room to um, braiding. Like, some people can do that. Like, they can dedicate a room to their small business, like, whether it's nails or, you know, doing something like that. But for me, you know, like, I really like to try to have a really positive like kind of like down to earth vibe to where I'm like almost in a sense like breeding like my energy into your hair in a sense like so I really take it pretty seriously it's not just oh it's me making money doing hair like no like I'm doing something I like and something that I love and at the end of the day I want both of us to come out with an end result of like you know, we're both satisfied. We're both um, intrigued, or hmm, just I guess maybe. Good. So I don't. I don't mean to be rude by asking this, but I've actually heard from different like different cultures as into why we always grew our hair out long. It's like it kind of reflects like an antenna to your body. Mm -hmm. Like you can hear better, you can smell better. It's, I don't know, I don't know if it's true or it's a myth, but I think that has to do with the reason why everybody has, it's like almost every culture in this world has had something to do with braiding, even like to the Vikings, even, you know, even the North and South, the East, the West, everybody has always had something about braids. Yeah, um... Definitely extension, hair is an extension of our of our bodies, like it's an extension of ourselves and you know, back in the day when our well not necessarily like your ancestors, but my ancestors, like my native brothers and sisters who went to boarding school, you know, that's the first thing that people did is 
they cut their hair. And they weren't allowed to keep their hair long. And they weren't allowed to just be who we are necessarily meant to be. And it stripped our power. And so that was just another way of assimilating, like, trying to destroy us. So I believe it. I believe that, yeah, like, because we are meant to have our hair long. But at the same time, we also have to take care of our hair. And so braiding is one of the best, I think, one of the best ways to keep our hair, like, healthy. Keep it long. Keep it, um, in a sense, to where it grows correctly. Because sometimes like, your hair doesn't grow. And it doesn't grow because you're not brushing it. Or because you're not conditioning it right. Or you're not making sure that your roots aren't having, like, a crazy amount of buildup or... Yeah, it's but anyway, it's there for us as initially, or essentially as power because mm -hmm. old ladies I guess back in the day they cut our hair they cut our hair for a reason so they strip us of our power <laughs> Here we are, getting close to the end, y'all. Mm -hmm. So I got a total of six braids. I have three, or no, I got four done. So I got two more to do. How was it? Like, did I pull too much? Was it? Uh, the pulling is a little intense, but it kind of just sits, you know, it doesn't. Yeah, well, I'm just It like, doesn't necessarily feel like it's stretching the whole time. Yeah, full disclaimer, I have a heavy hand, like, um, but that's just me as a person. Like, I'm kind of just a big bot. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't, I am gentle. I am a gentle spirit, but when it comes to actually braiding, I like my stuff to be tight as well. I'm going to have to get into the light. Not on the straight of light, but yeah. So, like I said, full disclaimer. This is I don't exactly have a super super gentle touch, but then at the same time, like I'm tolerant too. Like I'm not like you just gotta communicate. You know, like if you can handle it, like I'm just gonna keep braiding. But if it's too much. I understand that too and you know there's things that we all have to work on if that's something I have to work on all right I'm gonna do it you know I'm gonna do what I have to do to be the best that I can be but that's not everybody's get down but that's mine yes like evolution so I first started braiding when I was probably like 12 and it was, like I said, it was just because my sister braided hair. And so I was just wanting to be like my big sis. And then, plus, it was, like, you know, like, I wanted to be the cool kid. I wanted to bring something to the table. And so braiding hair was something that I could bring to the table. But then I was also really into, you know, sports growing up because, like, living down river, like, in the center of the cut of world, like it which is like cutting in California, like living there, um, we didn't really have a whole lot of extra stuff. Like we didn't have a bowling alley, we didn't have like an outdoor gym or even an indoor gym. We had the school, the post office, and the store. And so not even a tennis court. No, I mean like unless you brought your own your own uh, net and like I think there was one in the other school like the other river school but that was eight miles away from where I was so oh, sometimes you get little stragglers coming out but I think that's also too because I'm doing it in the dark because I'm on my porch because my house is crazy I just have a lot of bodies in there like energy a lot of energy all my little kids and you know that kind of stuff but um yeah so there wasn't a whole lot of stuff to do and so we as like kids growing up on the river 
we took to sports. Like, we were ballers. Like, we played every sport, and we were, like, all Americans at every sport. We weren't just, like, mediocre. Like, we balled out. But. Especially in basketball. Mm-hmm. So, like, we were, that's just what we did. And. Speaking of basketball, actually, me and two of my boys, only one of them was a res from here from the res. Um, we actually took a championship here. It was a three on three, uh, three man tournament, like a like a three three person team. Mm -hmm. We took a championship home one time. We all got free basketballs, sweatshirts, and we beat this older gentleman. They weren't too much older than us, but they couldn't handle my threes. And then I had my boy, the taller one, put him all, put him all up. I was getting all the rebounds. My boy was shooting threes too. We were all shooting threes. And it's it was pretty fun. Like fucking all net, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Usually indoors, yes, but the outdoor hoops are different for me. Mhm. Mm well, all right. If you bank it and you gotta bank it, I mean. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let it be. <laughs> yeah, like, you gotta do what still you gotta do. Still three. Still got three on it. Yeah, you know, it's still a bucket at the end of the day. I mean, it might be a little you know, unorthodox and ugly, but hey, it's when you, you make it. But yeah, so we just... Um, but when I would... So, like, the whole part of that is I would braid my hair. And so, like, I was getting, like... You know, getting the really fancy gel and like that's kind of where the snake braid comes comes from. Like that's definitely, I think it's like a native thing or like maybe even like just from a different culture. But it it's a braid that lays like kind of flat. But I mean, it's sick because like you'll pull hair from the side of your braid, but then you also even it out. And you also make sure that, you know, it's even on both sides um, and it's uniform. So it just, um, it's badass looking when you have the time to do it. But then you also have hair that um, is thick. Like it looks amazing on thick hair. Like it probably looks good on your hair too. But um, like thick, dark native hair. It just makes it look so shiny. So me, I'm an Aztec warrior, dark native hair. Yep. Yeah, little, little, just a little bit of Spain. You got a little, little like, bit of Spanish. Oh well, yeah, we're all diverse. I mean, I got a little bit of Irish, but I don't tell nobody that. Just kidding. I might actually too. I got a lot of red hair in my beard. Mhm. Mm yeah. But like that throwback. I'm pretty sure that's where I get my freckles. I got like that Irish. <laughs> My sister has freckles. And then my little nephew is 100% Mexican-American. And he has blue eyes and light brown hair. He's the only one in the family. Mm -hmm. Out of like 300 or more. It's wild how those like, genetics just come back from somewhere. <laughs> well, my grandfather on my dad's side had light brown hair and blue eyes. He was tall too, that's how me and my brothers ended up tall. Yeah, my people, like the older generation. So on my dad's side, like I am one generation back from a full blood. So like my grandma was a full blood. And like not a lot of people can say that. Like nowadays. You know, it's just but then there's some people, too, that are trying to, like, reconnect and they're trying to, you know, like, have some identity as a Native, which is cool. Like, it's good to know where you're from. But at the same time, like, if you can't ask, like, the generation of your family, like, the, like, two or, you know, one or two generations back and you have to research, like, to me, that's, like, really, like, a stretch, like... It's not all realistic. Like, yeah, like, almost a little off-putting. But then maybe it's just I need to be more accepting of diversity. I have inner battles with that.
All right, we're going to work on this last one. We'll be right back after these short messages. Time for a cigarette. person is going to be different so each braid is going to have like a different variation um i can't wait to do this look again or to braid oscar's hair again but uh, i think for the first time braiding his hair it went quite well what do you think oscar how'd it go i agree <laughs> his last one though is definitely it's definitely sealing the deal because i can feel the pressure on this one it's like I had that little chunk of like loose, loose scalp, and now it's like it's it's getting sealed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but that's just like the vibe for me. And but it looks like, great though. Actually, I, I think it looks pretty fucking lit. Yeah, having mine, I did this kind of in the dark. Um, I think it's gonna look didn't try to rush it, tried to make sure I took my time, made sure you had some even spacing, but, um, I mean, if you don't like it, you can put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm gonna get braids and put a hat on. <laughs> hey, that's how some people do it, when they need their hair to be I'm gonna go get my do-rag. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, do that, do the little rag. knot on the front. <laughs> you can the rag, okay, keep it, keep it nice. So very minimal product in his hair. His hair is actually quite um, well taken care of. Like he doesn't have a bunch of split ends. Um, although you are gonna want to get either have me or have somebody else take out your rubber bands because these little suckers are pretty tight. Like I, I braid pretty much to the very very end of everybody's hair. So. And you have that much of a tail. So, That's way longer than last time I got them done. So like a micro what? Yeah, the lady didn't pull them that tight. This is this feels way tighter than oh, last time. Oh, like do you want these lower? Like, no, no, no. Lower? I like I like them long like that because I can. I, I like I like them long. I actually, I don't know. It just feels better when they're longer like that. Oh, I was I was talking about this part. See, like this little. Oh no, that's like, fine. I that's was like, fine. I can't read it. I usually long. I usually just put it all like all in one, just so that they're not like everywhere. Okay. So like when I go to sleep, I'll put them all in one, just. So it doesn't get all messy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Here we are, closing out. Peace, people. Wait, you gotta, you gotta talk a little bit. Restart, restart. <laughs> all right, so this guy has a total of six braids, pretty evenly spaced. Um, he did, however, have a haircut, so I was able to work around his hair. Um, I was able to pull it almost to a micro, uh, but for the most part, they're pretty even, pretty tight, and I tried to make sure that the spacing and the part was fitting to his head type.